Hello YouTube. In this video, I want to talk about this uh, uh, line intersection program that I made. Um, as a short side note, in the beginning of the series, I was kind of thinking that every episode I will do like a little, uh, a little puzzle, like on HackerRank.com or something. But instead, I'm like doing these like explanations of programs. I think these are educational and fun too. Um, but uh, yeah, I just kind of do, I am kind of like all over the place. But uh, yeah, next time, uh, or so, uh, one of the following times I'll like do some puzzle on uh, hacker, hackerrank.com. But uh, yeah, I, this time I want to show this line intersection program. Um, for the two lines, the counters intersecting. Um, the point of intersect, like this, uh, this uh, rectangle that you see, has to be within both the boxes around these lines. Those are called bounding boxes. So individually, it does not work. So like there's an end gate, and then they count as intersecting. And as you can see, that seems to be working. You can uh, like. Uh, Test for like weird edge cases or something, like if they're parallel or something. Uh, I think it works. Maybe you can find uh, something wrong with it, but uh, I think it works. And uh, where I found the example from was from this website. Um, when I saw, it, uh, like I was searching before on the internet, and like uh, this uh, uh, website uh, often popped up, or was often referred to. And here they also use like bounding boxes, and they do some they do something with a cross product of some sort. And in the in the end, it seems to be working. But I don't understand why this works, so I didn't use this method. Um, what I did understand uh, what worked and why it works was this example. When I saw this image and read the rather small explanation beneath it, uh, in uh, like in contrast to like this enormous article. When I read this, I in, it, it all instantly clicked with me. Why, uh, like, uh, like I guess uh, a small, uh, a small. Uh, I guess a picture says a thousand words, and like this, this uh, little bit of explanation is uh, extremely uh, clear to me. So when I saw this uh, little bit, this answer on uh, math.stackexchange.com, like everything, I immediately knew what to do. So. Uh, I like uh, got to working on it, and if you like uh, look at the code, uh, like it does it does what I just explained. Like it checks if both boxes are intersecting. Like first it calculates where uh, this uh, point is, and then it calculates if both if it is within both bounding boxes. So let's have a look at the code. This is all just instantiating of, uh, uh, ver of uh, variables and objects. Uh, this is just uh, moving the mouse, uh, changing the points, not interesting. This is all just drawing. Uh, although here the intersect, intersect uh, point method is called. Um, these three functions are uh, the main thing. Um, here, uh, this function gets the intersect point and uh, get ins yeah. So that's what happens here. You uh, you get the the slope, the delta of both lines, and the initial y value. Like uh, this is the slope, how fast it descends, and you get the initial y value, which for this line is somewhere around here. And if you know both of those, um, you kind of have to remember back to uh, high school. Uh, where this, uh, where uh, the point where where it was taught to you, uh, how where like lines intersect, how to calculate that, like uh, how you calculate that. So uh, uh, you do that, and then you like get the, uh, the 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 x value of the point of intersect, and if you like insert that x value like in one of those the formulas of one of those two lines, um, like like here. You can get the y value, and then you like got your point. And then for that point, intersect point, you have to check if it is 
in both the first line and the points also in the bounding box of the first line and in the bounding box of the second line. And if that's the case, then yeah, the lines intersect. And here, like in this uh, line uh, class, you like you can like see how to calculate the initial y value and uh, the slope. And if you want, if it isn't clear to you yet, then or post a comment uh, or go to uh, like my uh, GitHub page where it is, is which is. Uh, Apparently, github.com slash regierapal website, and then it's like in this uh, line intersection folder. And there you can get it. You can also just like get it from uh, sources. Uh, maybe, maybe sometime this year. Oh, there. Okay, there it is. Like here, here it's too. So yeah, you can do that. And the application of uh, like getting intersection points, I can. I can think of two situations, uh, in video games at least, where this could be used. Um, for instance, if you like, uh, have like an area on the map where you aren't allowed to be, which is not just a circle, but like some weird shape. In mathematics, it's called, I think it's called a polygon. If you like, you can kind of no, like draw a line to a point in there and like see if it intersects, uh, and if it's an odd number of intersects, like you can Im imagine with this triangle, for instance, if it's an odd amount of intersects, then you know, okay, like this, uh, you are like this is a forbidden area of the map, and then like guards get you. Like if it's an even number, you know, like you can imagine like there are two intersects, then uh, you know you're out of the area. Uh, I have it added like. I haven't added that, like uh, checking if of, of something is within a certain area. Uh, that would be uh, extra hard, I guess. Maybe it's something for you. Maybe I don't know to go to do. And uh, like that's a, a use case for it. And I also and I also think that this is used in uh, bullet hit detection. Like uh, like bullets in most video games are not actual bullets; they're just like lasers or lines, and like you can check if uh, like that hits a person. So, uh, uh, or even another thing, you can like check if someone is uh, within if, or you can also what you can also check is a visibility range. Like you can check if. Uh, Someone is behind a wall or something. Uh, I think it can also be used for that in some way. Um, so yeah, that's where intersection can be useful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if it isn't clear, then you know, post a comment or look at GitHub. But uh, yeah, see you guys next time.